Hello everyone. In this Shielding Shorts, I am going to tell you uh, about another program cell death which is caspase dependent and that is pyroptosis. How it differs from the apoptosis because caspases are different. And what are the caspases? 1, 4, 5 and 11. So these are the new update in the Robins. 4, 5 has been added. Previous Robins it was telling 1 and 11. So overall if you remember, if you read the articles or journals or another standard textbook, you will find that all these 4 are important caspases which are associated with pyroptosis. What happens in pyroptosis? Antigen or combining with either doll like receptor on the membrane or nod like receptor within the cytoplasm. So when antigen combines with toll like receptor, this will activate pro caspase 11 into caspase 11. And when antigen comes and combine with toll like receptor, this will activate nod like receptor, nod like receptor, not toll like receptor, nod like receptor, and this will activate inflammosome. Inflammosome is going to activate pro caspase 1, 4, 5. Please remember, inflammosome is going to activate pro caspase 1, 4, 5 and this will convert them into active caspase 1, 4 and 5. This active caspase 1, 4, 5 will convert pro IL-1. So this is the inactive form of the interleukin-1 converted into the active form of the interleukin-1 which is going to cause cell membrane damage and inflammation. So again you can see this is like a necrosis cell membrane damage and inflammation that is why it is also a variant of necrosis. Here what you have to notice that caspase 11 can also activate all these 1, 4, 5 caspases into active form. So in simple words IL-1 activation is done by all kind of caspases 1, 4, 5 and 11. So this is about pyroptosis where this inflammatory interleukin IL-1 will cause damage of the cell membrane and inflammation. So enjoy learning and best wishes for